What's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. In my pocket, I've got this little number here. This is the Hoco E from a company called Mod Corporation out of Barcelona. And what this is, is a machined out of a billet of aluminum, Boro compatible, die codes 18650 powered uh, little banger. I, I don't know that this is gonna be like a banana sticker, banana sticker type of review, but this Hoko E is just so cool. It's at least worth showing off and talking about. I got a Boro standing by, I got a Mob 2 in MTL mode standing by that I wanna use in this. So let's get this Hoko E show on the road. Was the Rick and Morty t-shirt a bad idea? We will find out, but yeah, look at this thing. How cool is this thing? Am I alone in thinking how cool this is? So he was kind of explaining me the process that they do building these mods, how it's from a single billet of aluminum and it gets painted first before it gets engraved. And that's what kind of gives it unique look. You can kind of see back here where your Boro sits, that's the painted surface. This battery slide is really where the joy in this mod comes from. I mean, look, I'm sure it vapes fine. Kind of got that raw, unpolished aluminum on the inside. The contacts, they say, on both the positive and negative are 999 silver. I don't know if 999 is a silver designation or if they mean 99.9% .9 silver. It's just two little rails and it just pops into place so perfectly. In fact, let's just get a battery here and look at this screen. They do custom color screens. He asked what color I wanted and I said red and then he put green in. So I was like, okay, green's fine. If you try to press the button now, you're just going to get an error check atomizer. I'm going to use a clear Billy Billy Boro, this mob two in mouth to lung mode, and hopefully this Oleg drip tip. I guess just let me get this Boro built real quick. So as beautiful as this mod is, and as much as I love this device, this is where the first big gripe comes into play because you can't fill the Boro tank while it's inside the mod. So the first thing I have to do is put this in here, screw this down, make sure it fires, and then take it out to fill it. It's reading fine, and while it's in here, I want to show you this die codes chip. This is the Extreme V3. Now, I'm not a die codes expert, but this chip is pretty straightforward. We're just going to take a very surface level look at it. It's only a one button operation, so three clicks gets you into the menu and then you cycle through each option with each additional click of the button. One, two, three, power down. There's your ohms. And if you leave it too long, it'll let you adjust things and then eventually go back to nothingness. Unless I press the button, then I can see my battery level, my wattage, my resistance. One, two, three. Keep going. Keep going. Heat control. Switch off. Extended functions. Error number. Power up. Power down, there's your resistance again, there's that, which I don't know exactly what this is. I'm gonna point you in the direction of Mark Todd. He does much more in-depth stuff with the die codes. I'm a simple vapor and I just like wattage up down control. So that's really all I've been using on this chip. Just wanna make sure we're at where I wanna be at with the power, 14 and a half watts, great. So now that I know this works, I'm gonna fill up this tank. Shout out to Billy Billy for the very cool clear Boro tank. So it goes back in again. Oh, and the Oleg tip brings it on home. I mean, look, this thing is undeniably cool looking, very slick. It is a bit of a fingerprint magnet. And if your Boro leaks, that just kind of shows extra and gets real smeary. All right, I'm, well, I'm just going to have a preliminary toot. Yeah, 14 and a half watts. It's a nice mouth to lung. This, uh, Water Malone's a little throaty, but I think I'll survive. Anyway, yeah, that's kind of really all there is to see down here. You are getting a lot of airflow on this. Side, front, side airflow. Honestly, most Boro bridges restrict the airflow underneath the coil anyway, but it's nice to have sort of unrestricted airflow. You can kind of hold it however you want. It is weird to hold though, because the button placement is down here. Anyway, let's talk about this back up at normal view. All right, well, admittedly, it has been a couple days and I have been using this Hoko E Mob 2 mouth to lung combo literally just like crazy. I turned the wattage up to about 17 and a half watts now. Oh, I'm all the way up to 18 watts. Look out world. So as far as holding this beautiful piece of vape goes, the button is kind of in a weird place. I find myself sometimes grabbing it with just three fingers like this. Hmm. 
Yes, quite. But I don't really like doing that. Sometimes I find myself holding it in my left hand, reaching for the button with my finger, which is also perfectly fine, comfortable. The Mob 2 kind of rules. But I finally started gripping it in this certain way that I don't know if anybody else, I hope other people are gripping it like this. Right there. Just put this nice textured back right in the web of your thumb. You stop it with your finger. You kind of just, it's like a boom like this. Hit it with your thumb. This is it. This is my favorite. This is peak Hoko E placement. Mm. The things I love about it, I really love about it. The only gripe, and like I said, I don't think I'm handing out banana stickers, but I would ding it for this. And that is the idea that you can't fill up the tank without taking it outside of the mod. What a bummer that is. I'm using it in mouth to lung mode, which means I'm gonna go through substantially less liquid than if I was, you know, than if I was using it in, in a restricted lung. So I'm realistically pulling this out of here not quite as often to fill it up, but when you do, it's kind of one of those things where you're like, that sucks. I do, however, on the other hand, feel it's kind of worth it to have such a, like a cool design Boro right up front. I'm just gonna start saying really great, overly great things about this, which means we've reached the end of the video. So I'm not gonna do any vape budget hands, although they're not exactly giving these away, and I'm not gonna do any Aliens game, although I kinda don't wanna be without you. But I will say this, if you're a person that smokes cigarettes, you don't just have to keep smoking cigarettes. There is a multitude of less harmful nicotine products out on the market. In the description of this video, I'm gonna put links to science and education for you. This has been a Grim Green video. Smoke free every day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so.